So you just got yourself a Hero 11. And you're probably like, what other accessories should I get with this thing? Wow, am I having deja vu? So you just got your Hero 10. And maybe you're like, what other accessories should I get with this? Oh, that's awkward, hold on. Okay, well at least that looks a little bit different. But anyway, if you're looking for some good Hero 11 accessories, well, you came to the right place. And because we have the Hero 11, I've come up with the top 11 useful GoPro accessories. You know, for when you're out GoPro-ing. By the way, welcome to the channel. My name is Danny Black and don't be a stranger. Click that button right there. I'll put links to everything down in the description, plus some coupon codes to save you some money and a surprise link. Also, thanks to the accessory company, Telesyn, we're doing a giveaway for a Hero 11 right here on this channel. And if you're watching this later on, well, I do giveaways on this channel all the time. So, you know, stick around. Okay, let's just go ahead and get to the accessories. The Hero 11 is the same form factor as the Hero 10 and actually the same form factor as the Hero 9 as well. So that video I did last year is still valid for the Hero 11. I still like all of those accessories. Also, I have to give one more mention to what was the number one choice from the last year's is that 72 in one mother load of GoPro accessory pack. If you are looking to just get started on GoPro accessories, that's where you wanna go. And at the moment, it only costs around 80 US dollars with my coupon code. So number 11 is this GoPro necklace. Now it's not some fancy piece of jewelry, but this necklace is probably one of the things I use the most. I love this thing a lot and it's perfect for getting POV shots just quickly. So how it works is you have this necklace, you put it around your neck and you clip it on. You have your GoPro on this little magnetic mount and you just pop it on like that and it's on there. And if you wanna get it off, you just twist it and pull. And it's made of this like gumby bendy material. So it feels really comfortable when it's around your neck and you can kind of contort it to how you need it to be. But I use this all the time to get some great POV shots if I'm doing something else with my hands. And also it comes in under $30. And yes, I have a coupon code for it as well so you can save some more money. Number 10 is batteries. And I've actually been using the HSU batteries and the Telesyn batteries a lot, but also they have different battery packs as well. So Telesyn has this more rugged one for the outdoors and you just plug it in via USB USB-C, it's weather resistant, all that good stuff. Or the HSU battery charger that has this USB cable that's connected to it that easily hides away and it's easy to travel just like that. However, I gotta tell you my absolute favorite. And this is the ZG Sign battery charger. Put your batteries in right there. Uh, you can also put some SD cards in up there. You can charge it through the back, but also this has a battery built into it as well. So you can be charging your batteries on the go. This thing I use all the time. I take it with me everywhere and you can get it on Amazon right now for around $40. I highly recommend it. Number nine is the grav grip system. This one is a brilliant idea and I did a whole video review of this that you should check out if you're interested in this, but it's simple. It uses gravity to keep your GoPro level. Now, not like a gimbal, but more like a jib shot. You see, like if you have it on a regular selfie pull and you lift your GoPro up, you see it's basically gonna face the sky eventually. But when you have it on the grab grip, you see how it keeps it level, especially if you extend it out. And what's cool right now, you can actually buy the grab grip system and also get the extension pull free with it. And you can save some more money with my discount code. But if you're looking to get some more cinematic jib shot kind of footage with your GoPro, this is probably the way to go, especially if you're getting some kind of like established shots or like location reveal shots. It looks really good. And it's also really fun to play with. Number eight. Uh. Well, what do you know, number eight is another Telesyn product. This is the Telesyn clamp. This clamp right here is the best that I've ever used. So you can clamp this down on poles, railings, handlebars, like whatever, from this tiny quarter inch size to something just under two inches. It's lightweight, it's really strong. This dual arm thing is very easy to maneuver around, adjust, and also tighten as well. They have a GoPro mount for it, but they also include a quarter thread mount in case you wanna put something else on there as well. And it comes in under $28, and you can save some more money with my coupon code. Number seven is a gimbal. Now you might be going, uh, GoPro, uh, you don't need a gimbal for that. It's got hyper smooth 5.0, especially on the 11. So why would you need a gimbal? And you're right to think that, but there's many cases when a gimbal does come in handy. Like if you're doing something in low light, maybe you're inside, maybe it's nighttime, you can change your settings on your GoPro to make it look really good, but mainly you have to disable hyper smooth so you don't get any stabilization at all. And this is the Falcon Plus. And what's cool about the Falcon Plus is you could put a media mod on there. Also, you could pop on a light as well. So if you are somewhere dark, you can have this thing facing towards you or facing somewhere just capturing a lot more of the situation keeping it really smooth but this gimbal is also loaded with some really cool features like you can put time lapses on you can get some really cool low to the ground shots you can get that inception shot 
and you can connect it to your phone where you can remotely control it. So if you have this set somewhere and away from you, you can actually control it all from your phone, getting the shots that you want. So it does a lot of really cool things and you can pick this up on Amazon just under 120 US dollars. Number six is filters. Now, it took me a while to kind of understand the whole ND8, ND16, ND32, because every time I tried to learn online, everyone would just say the same thing. It makes it look more cinematic. And it's like, okay, well, what does that mean? And so here's the gist. Filters add motion to your shot. So to show the difference, here I am on my skateboard going through some leaves. This is with no filter at all. So when I add the ND16 to it, you can feel the motion in the shot so much more, especially if I freeze frame it. They're scratch resistant and waterproof. And if you're doing anything with motion, like moto vlogging, surfing, skiing, things like that, you're definitely gonna want something like that to capture that motion, to make your viewers just feel the motion of your shot. But also I really like these Telesyn filters because for one, they just easily clip on your GoPro like that. You don't have to take off the lens. But also these specific filters from Telesyn also have a polarizer as well, which gets rid of like the sun's glare on water or on buildings and things like that. So you can easily switch it from that polarizer to one of these, the ND8, the ND16, and the ND32. And with my discount code, you can get this for around $45, which is actually a very competitive price in this market. Number five is to get yourself a good case. And I'm actually gonna give you three options here. If you're doing a lot of rugged outdoor stuff, maybe you're rock climbing or something like that, you'll probably want a metal frame to keep it from when it bangs against anything heavy or if you're gonna drop it. Uh, this will keep your GoPro from really getting hurt. But you also get a couple of cold shoes on here and it's just really easy to put in and out just like that. The next one on here is a silicon case. This is another way to kind of keep it from getting banged around. You have access to all of your mounts and your buttons you can press. It also has the proper holes for the speakers and the microphones. But the other thing is that it comes with a lanyard like this. That way you can attach this around your neck and then it's just hanging there and it's easy to pick up and get the shots that you need and uh, just keep wandering around hands free. But going back to that first one, I love this. It just feels like a nice little cradle for your GoPro, keeping it safe. I hate throwing my GoPro in like my backpack with everything else. It's just really cool to have it in this. But also they leave it open so that if you do have it on a mount, you can easily just take that off, put it back on again, keeping your GoPro safe. Number four is the remote. Now, this might not be necessary if you're close to your GoPro all the time and you can just hit the buttons or even do the voice commands, but maybe you might be a little bit embarrassed saying, uh, GoPro, take a photo. But this remote is great and you can also control a bunch of different GoPros at the same time. It'll display your GoPro recording time. You could switch between your photo, video, and time-lapse modes. And you can also shuffle through those different presets as well by just clicking this little settings button. And you can set a favorite preset right here. So when you click on that, it will take you to that favorite preset. Also, you can power your GoPro on and off with this thing as well. It will work up to 80 meters or 262 feet. It has a long battery life and it comes in under $30 with my discount code. Number three is a suction cup mount from, you guessed it, Telesyn. This video is not sponsored by Telesyn. They just have a lot of really good GoPro accessories. But I do use the suction mount all the time. If I need to capture something in my car, I can just pop it on my windshield or on my window or anything with glass or like mirrors. It's just very easy if I need to get a quick shot, but I don't have any space to put like a mount. You pop this on there, you tighten it down like that, and it does a really good job. It doesn't fall off very easily. But maybe you want something a little bit stronger. And that's where this comes in. This is a three arm suction cup mount and it's basically three of these suction cup mounts, but it keeps it even more stable because you have three of them up there. You can get some crazier angles when you have one suction cup mount on there. It can bounce around a little bit, not because this thing's not tight enough. It's just with the vibration of the car. But when you have the three on there, it won't bounce around at all. The single cup comes in under $30 and the three arm comes in around $65 with my discount code. Number two is that light we just saw. This is the GoPro light. The GoPro light's actually really good. It's tiny, look how tiny this thing is, but also really bright and it has three levels of brightness and SOS mode. The battery lasts a very long time and it also has a built-in diffuser in case, you know, it's a bit too harsh on my face. So you put the diffuser on and that softens it up a little bit. But if you want something more than just a white light, and believe me, I have reviewed a lot of lights on this channel, but this one's different than the other ones that I've reviewed. And how that is, it's just got a single button and a dial. So it's really easy to use. You press down to turn it on and you can control the brightness with the dial, but also you can press it again to get different color temperatures and adjust the brightness for those color temperatures. But then you have an RGB color changing mode as well. And if you get on the color you like, you just tap it again and it will freeze on that color. 
And best of all, this thing comes in under $20. And yes, I have a coupon code. Okay, before we get to number one, I wanna give some software mentions, just a couple. So if you are someone that likes to put that GPS information from your GoPro on the screen, telemetry overlays is probably one of the best softwares out there that does it. It does it super easily. You can customize it how you want it on your screen. They have a lot of different looks. You can export it with a green screen or you can export it with your video on it as well. And all you have to do is turn GPS on on your GoPro when you're filming and then you import the footage and it picks up all of that GPS data and puts it on there for you. It's that easy. But also if you're looking for some software to edit your footage, I have some really cool free software that you can download. Check that out down in the description. There are some options to add some more features to it for low prices, but just give it a try, see if you like it, and it's free to try, so might as well. Okay, so number one on this list, and you probably weren't expecting it, but it's the GoPro Volta. And this is a great product to have for GoPro users. I mean, it's a hand grip, it's a tripod, it's a remote control, and it's a battery charger all in one. I mean, you could even take your battery out of this thing and it will keep recording. You could switch between different batteries if you needed to. There are these little pop-out legs if you need to mount this onto something, that way you can keep using your Volta, keep it charging up. But for me, I like to be able to use this to put my phone down there. So if I'm doing a live stream, I can read the comments, but also I have my notes for any videos that I'm filming so I can read my notes right there. It's actually a really cool way to use it. And with all of that, it comes in at 130 US dollars. Now I don't have a coupon code for it, but if you have the GoPro subscription, you can actually save another $40. And yeah, I've saved a lot of money having that GoPro subscription. But check out the video where I dive into the subscription service because it's uh, it's well worth it. But those are the 11 things that I find very useful to have with your GoPro. Luckily, there's a lot of cool people out there still innovating and creating new accessories for the GoPro all the time. So stay tuned to the channel because if they come my way, I will review them. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Master Black.